Within the last few weeks, we all learned a lot about COVID-19 and the virus that causes it, SARS-CoV-2, but there are still many questions that have remained unanswered. While the number of scientific articles on this virus is increasing, there are still many questions in relation to its origin. What kind of animal did it come from? Was it a bat, pangolin, or some other wild species? And also, where did it come from? Was it a forest in the Chinese Hubei province or somewhere else? Of the original 41 people hospitalized in December 2019, 27 of them had passed through a market located near the center of the city. Regardless, according to a study conducted by Wuhan Hospital, the first known human case had not been to this market. Instead, molecular history assessment based on the SARS-CoV-2 genome sequences suggest an origin in November. This raises questions about the relationship between the COVID-19 epidemic and wildlife. The SARS-CoV-2 genome was quickly sequenced by Chinese researchers. It is an RNA molecule made up of about 30,000 bases and containing 15 genes, including an S gene that codes a protein found on the virus envelope. For reference, the human genome is made up of a double helix with about 3 billion bases in size and contains about 30,000 genes. Comparative genomic analysis showed that SARS-CoV-2 belonged to the beta group of beta coronaviruses, and it's very close to the virus SARS-CoV, responsible for the acute pneumonia epidemic that occurred in November 2002 in Guangdong, China, which then spread to 29 countries in 2003. In total, there were 8,098 known cases, including 774 deaths. It's known that rhinolophus bats were the origin of this virus and that a small carnivore called a civet might have acted as an intermediate host between bats and the first human cases. Many beta coronaviruses have been discovered since then, especially in bats, but also in humans. For example, RATG13, isolated from Rhinolophus affinis bats, collected in Yunnan province of China, has recently been described as similar to SARS-CoV-2, with 96% of their genome sequences matching. These results indicate that bats, mainly the Rhinolophus species, may be the reservoir of SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 viruses. But what exactly is a reservoir? Basically, it's one or more species of animals that are not very susceptible to a virus and will naturally host one or several viruses. Their lack of disease symptoms is caused by the effectiveness of their immune system, which allows them to keep the virus from reproducing out of control while also not wiping them out of their bodies completely. On February 7th, we learned that a virus closer to SARS-CoV-2 was discovered in pangolins, with 99% of genomic compatibility reported. This indicates a more likely reservoir than a bat. However, a recent study shows that the coronavirus genome isolated from Malaysian pangolins is less similar to SARS-CoV-2, with only 90% of genomic compatibility. This indicates that the virus isolated from the pangolin is not responsible for the currently spreading COVID-19 pandemic. The coronavirus isolated from the pangolin is 99% similar to a specific S protein corresponding to the 74 amino acids involved in binding of ACE2 receptors, a part that allows the virus to enter human cells and infect them. In contrast, the RATG13 virus isolated from the rhinolophus bat is very different in this specific area with only a 77% similarity. This means that the pangolin isolated coronavirus can enter human cells while the virus isolated from the rhinolophus affinis bat cannot. In addition, these genomic differences imply that the SARS-CoV-2 virus is the result of a combination between two different viruses, one closer to RATG13 and the other closer to the pangolin virus. In other words, it's a chimera between two previously existing viruses. In order for recombination to occur, the two different viruses must have infected the same organism at one time. This still leaves us with two questions unanswered. In what animal did this combination occur? And above all, how did this combination occur? One possibility is that it was just a random natural occurrence. This combination mechanism has already been described in coronaviruses, specifically to explain the origin of SARS-CoV. The joining of two viruses in this way creates a new virus capable of infecting new types of hosts. In a letter published November 9th, 2015 by a Nature Research Journal, researchers were able to combine a SARS-like virus SHC014-CoV, which was circulating in Chinese horseshoe bat populations, with the virus SARS-CoV, which again was responsible for the 2002 SARS epidemic. This resulted in a new chimeric virus that was capable of efficiently using the human ACE2 receptor to replicate in human airway cells. They then tested available SARS immunotherapeutic treatments against the virus and found they failed to neutralize and protect against infection from their new coronavirus. They then concluded that this research proves there is a credible risk from natural combinations of coronaviruses. We'll continue to watch for updates on this, so stay tuned for more videos here and on our other YouTube channels. 
If you would like to support the work we do, you can donate to our PayPal, Subscribestar, or Patreon. All those links and more are in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.